Rob, you knew I was going to get to this right away. $2,000 by the end of the year. We are still some 700 bucks away from that target. Do you think it's possible that over the next three months we might actually see gold rise that quickly? It's possible. I think we have a bit of a challenge at this point. <laughs> I would say so. So uh, let's readjust your forecast. So, you know, based on the trajectory of gold, based on uh, the factors that you see playing into the demand for the metal, how soon might it hit that target? Clearly, the, the interest in gold is building uh, with the price movement and more people are concerned. So you could be looking into, into next year. Um, there's just a very positive movement right now. If you look, though, at the chart, and I'm sure you've seen this, if we take the price of gold and map it against the 60-day moving average, the pace of appreciation has slowed. Why do you think that's been happening? Because gold was on a tear for a while, and it's not like it isn't at record prices. We just talked about that, but it isn't rising as quickly. The trend is up, and I think that's what people should focus on. That's the important part. But every, whether every commodity or stock price, they'll rise, and then they have to consolidate before going higher. Okay, so in your opinion, we're in a period of consolidation, but so much of what has contributed to gold's rise over the past, well, more than several months now, is ETFs, incredibly popular commodity ETFs. Some people have issues with them, but the reality is that many people, including hedge funds, are in ETFs. There's 2,079 tons of gold in ETFs now and counting. Do you think, are you worried perhaps that Given the fact that hedge funds are such big players in gold, George Soros, David Einhorn, John Paulson, there might be a little too much hot money in bullion? You could get greater volatility, and you will see bigger moves on the up and downside for gold. But the trend's still up. Okay, trend is up over time, but what do people need to be... Okay, not everybody is a long-term holder. Not everybody has as bullish a view out to eternity as you do. No, no, no. It's right? They, 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 they want to come in... Uh, now and then, they want to own gold for a period of time. Uh, they're doing asset allocation. You know, how soon do you think we might see the volatility creep into the gold price and gold actually experience some serious declines temporarily, in your view? Oh, you, you have a seasonality in gold. You could, uh, the fall is traditionally a strong period for gold, and then it'll drop off um, near year end, pick up in the beginning of the year, and then fade in the late spring and through the summer. Are you worried that people might think you're kind of nuts saying that gold could get to $5,000 in some five years? I'm really not too concerned about what they think. I'm looking to protect my assets and other people should be as well and gold will protect their assets. In your opinion, the best hard asset out there? Yes. All right. Rob McEwen, the CEO of U.S. Gold, former CEO of Gold Corp.